Hey guys, my name is James with MerGerData.com and today I'm going to be briefly going over how to make some calculated fields for your KPI dashboard within Tableau. Let's get started. Okay, so what you're seeing right now on my screen is some sample sales data that I got from Kaggle. Um, and basically what I've gone ahead and done is organize this data by quarter. So it starts in 2003 quarter one and ends in 2005 of quarter two. So we're going to be making three different calculated fields today. The first one is going to be latest quarter sales. I'm going to go ahead and open that up for you guys to see. Um, it's actually very simple. Um, it's a little overwhelming at first, but I promise it's uh, actually quite simple once you break it down. And so this main part right here is going to be uh, what takes the order date and it looks for the quarter and it looks for the latest quarter within that order date. So that's basically all this is doing. So it takes the latest quarter. In this case, it's going to be quarter two of 2005. Um, and it's going to go ahead and compare that to all the other order dates within the data set. And so it looks for any matches between the latest available quarter date and uh, the quarter date uh, of all the different quarter dates in the data set. Um, and so basically what you're gonna, what we're gonna want is the result of 719,494. Um, and so I have in sheet two here, this calculated field brought over and you can see here that it does match, which is awesome. And so secondly, for previous quarter sales, that's gonna be the next calculated field that we look at. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and it's the exact same thing. It looks for the latest quarter of the order date um, or it looks for the quarter date or it looks for the quarter of the latest uh, order date value. Um, and so it'll be quarter two of 2005 and it'll subtract one from that quarter, which basically means it goes back a quarter. So from quarter two of 2005, it'll go to quarter one of 2005. And I'll go ahead and double check uh, just to make sure. Yeah, so quarter one of 2005 is going to be the value that we look for. Um, and we want our uh, calculated field to result in 1,071,992. And I have right here in sheet three that that is what we get. So that's awesome. And then the last calculator field we'll do is basically showing the percent difference between quarter um, or between the latest quarter and the quarter prior. And so that's going to be this percentage right here of 0.3288 or negative 32%. Um, and how we get that in this calculated field is going to basically be very simple. The sum of the latest quarter sales, that calculated field that we created minus the sum of the previous uh, quarter sales, the other calculated field that we created, and then divide all that by the sum of the previous quarter sales in order to get the percent difference or the percent change. And so what we're gonna do now is create a new dashboard. That is a worksheet. We're gonna go ahead and create a new dashboard. And we're gonna go ahead and drag in sales data and this is how I like to create my KPI dashboards. Uh, maybe you have uh, a slightly different method, but uh, for me, I'm gonna keep it nice and simple. We're gonna change this to this quarter. I'm gonna change sheet three to say last quarter. And then sheet four, we'll just put uh, QOQ, which will stand for quarter over quarter. Um, and then what I'll go ahead and do is drag this to the details so that I can use it within my sheet name, center it, and then I want to have it here. Awesome. And then lastly, we'll format this so that it's a currency. Um, and I want that without the decimal places, just because it doesn't need to be too specific. Awesome. And then we'll go ahead and do the same for last quarter. So we'll drag this into the details pane this time we'll hit, we'll hold down command, format, numbers, currency, get rid of the decimal places, and then here we will add it. Enter, control A, center it, looks great. And then we'll do a very similar thing here. Instead, we'll drag it to the details like we did before, uh, this time holding down command to make sure that you're actually uh, add it to the details pane without getting rid of it in the uh, tools. And we're going to change this to a percent. Um, and I think we'll do just one percentage uh, or just one decimal place because I think that'll that'll be fine. So insert, add it, enter, center it, apply. Perfect. So now for the dashboard, we're going to add in each of these right here. So we have this quarter, last quarter, 
and then quarter over quarter. Um, and then when sizing it, what you're going to want to do, um, in case you've maybe not done this before, uh, is you're going to want to hit the drop down here, go to fit. And for what I like to do, I like to do fit width. Um, and I'll do that for each of these boxes here. Uh, fit width. That's my crisp notification. And fit width one more time. And then lastly, just resizing the boxes to whatever you want. You don't have to have uh, everything in this order. You can have it in whichever order you prefer. I'll get rid of the uh, text right here. And you'll go ahead and see that this is my uh, resulting KPI dashboard. And to make it a little bit nicer, a little bit prettier, I'll go ahead and center the worksheet name for our sales data right here. Um, and then if you want to go a step further, you can always change this to maybe 2002, 2005. Uh, or you can specify the quarters, make it dynamic, whatever you want to do. Um, and so, yeah, that's basically uh, just a quick little tutorial on how to do uh, some custom calculated fields for your KPI dashboard in Tableau. <laughs> Thanks for watching.